This method can help answer key questions in the nephrology field about the role of self-surface protein trafficking in proteinuric and not proteinuric kidney disease. The main advantages of this technique are that it facilitates the study of cell surface protein trafficking in vivo and that more than one protein can be analyzed per experiment. Though this method can provide insight into glomerular cell surface trafficking, it can also be applied to other organ systems that are perfused and are accessible by isolation techniques. Begin by confirming a lack of response to toe pinch and disinfecting the ventral side of the anesthetized mouse with 70% isopropanol. Make a median cut through the skin from the pelvis to the sternum and use tweezers to remove the skin from the abdominal fascia. Cut the skin on both sides of the abdominal midline and make a medium cut through the abdominal muscle layer from the bladder to the xiphoid. Use the scissors and forceps to divide the muscles into four quadrants. And use two surgical clamps to secure the upper two quadrants toward the neck of the animals. Place the animal under a dissecting microscope. And use a sterile swab to move aside the visceral organs. Using fine scissors, cut the hepatic phrenic ligament. Using fine surgical tweezers, place one suture around the hepatic mesenteric artery, cranial of the renal arteries and around the aorta, proximal of the renal arteries, at the adrenal gland. Free the distal